Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to talk about a tutorial that I took. I've got an email from the Wingfox team and they give me an exclusive access to one of their courses. So this is the scene that I've created so far based on their courses. Let me just first walk you through the scene. Keep in mind that uh, this tutorial is uh, mostly about creating still images. This is not optimized for games but it is focused on how to create great art pieces using Unreal Engine 4. So this is the scene that I've created. This is our character. We have a pretty nice lake over here. We have some random alien spheres over here with a little bit of emissive materials. But let me just tweak up the speed and show you how the scene looks from above. So I have a few planes over here just to block and create uh, the shadows from the sun. I have some mountains over here. I'm gonna create those uh, like a Protoss uh, towers which will uh, shoot beams to the sky. I've also got a few uh, mountains over here just to create the landscape over there. I've sculpted a little bit uh, mesh over here to create uh, the wrinkles and uh, the ground over here. We've put some rocks, we've put some grass, we've added some wind effect to the grass. And here, let me just turn it back down. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's go. And here is my still shot. So this is the Wingfox website. It's wingfox.com. So I just uh, look at the different categories. You have everything CG, game art, uh, cinema 4D, graphic design, animation, concept art, environment design, everything. The first thing is the quality of, of, the, of the courses, of the tutorials. The quality is super high. I found very uh, high quality tutorials, which are like 10 to 15 hours long. You can see for 18 hours long here, building a sci-fi max scene. You have 52 hours uh, of a course, which is only 60 bucks for 52 hours. But the interesting thing that caught my eye was the lecturers, the teachers. Associate Art Dir Director Lightning and FX Ubisoft Sofia. All right. Senior Cinematic Modeler at Blizzard. All right, character artist at Naughty Dog. So this website uses teachers from the industry that are top notch. So all this content over here is super high quality. So let me show you the, the tutorial that I'm gonna uh, discuss today and I'm gonna be talking about. So this is how your scene will look like at the end. Pretty high quality, a lot of effects a lot of wind effects, leaves, etc. Here, that's great lightning system. There will be different sections and let's go to the maps. The first thing that you will do is you're going to block out the scene. Of course, every scene starts with a block out. You're going to block out everything uh, just to feel the shape and to check them uh, and to check the silhouettes and everything. Then you're going to continue blocking out with adding more details like uh, the trees, the shores, the water. Uh, you're going to add those sci-fi spheres and uh, the bends to the wall. So let me tell you more about this course, what software you're going to be using. The duration is 10 hours. It's pretty long course, but the teacher will cover how to block out the scene how to define your block out. So the first thing you're going to just block out everything, then he going to start defining it and you're going to start defining it too, of course. Then he will teach you a little bit of the coward theory and you're going to deep dive with the tree creation with speed tree, which we, which is a software that you need in order to finish this course. You can use Unreal Engine 4 subscription for speed tree 8 plus. Also, you're going to be using algorithmic substance for, for the materials, also Photoshop for the materials. So with the tree creation, it's going to be a long one. This is a long part. Then you're going to continue with the grass creation, uh, with the placing the trees and the grass in the scene, then applying all the materials and creating all the materials in Unreal Engine. And in the end, the sky lightning, the adjustments, and the final beautiful render of the scene. So keep in mind that Alexander is pretty 
good teacher. It teaches very well and the lectures are very fluid. So he will speak about how to gen generate ideas and how to use concept art. So for example, uh, when you get this course, you will have also his uh, Photoshop concept art, which is a photo bashing. He started from this picture and start adding different layers in order to create the scene mood. As you can see, I'm turning all the layers. This is pretty uh, common technique used by 3D artists quickly to create an environment, just photo bash different stuff in it, just to have uh, the concept for his 3D creation, for his 3D still environment. Keep in mind, again, this is for still environment, it's not for games. And those are few uh, images that will be included in the tutorial, which are a collection of uh, inspirational art and uh, references for you uh, to create this scene. Also here, some pretty moody scenes. This is very lovely, the forest with uh, this fog. And all this collection is needed in order to create this final photo bash and start working on your 3D scenes. This will all be covered in the lectures over here. So he will teach you all this and you're gonna be having something like this when you finish up all the lectures. So right now in Wingfox, there is a cherry blossom uh, discount. So if you want to grab this uh, tutorial right now on with a discount, just follow the link in the description to get it with the discount. And enroll now in this amazing course if you like what you see and if you want to learn how to create this still image. Thank you guys for watching and I can wait to show you my next video which will be about creating arcane scene from the movie with Maya, Unreal Engine and other softwares. So I'm waiting you in my next video. Once it's done, I'm going to upload it. Thank you guys and if you want to get this course, click in the description, get it with... Huge discount and support me. Have a great day.